South Africa is embarking on an ambitious and controversial mission to save one of its most remote territories, Marion Island, from an ecological disaster. Located in the sub-Antarctic region, Marion Island is a critical breeding ground for several seabird species, including the iconic wandering albatross. However, the island's ecosystem has been under siege for decades due to an unlikely villain, the common house mouse. These mice, accidentally introduced to the island in the 19th century, have evolved into deadly predators, attacking seabird chicks and even adult birds. The situation has escalated to the point where South Africa, in collaboration with conservationists, has decided to bomb the island with rodenticide-laced pellets to eradicate the invasive mice population entirely. This operation, set to take place in 2027, will involve dropping over 600 tons of bait across the island in a last-ditch effort to protect the remaining bird populations. Given the lessons learned from past control efforts, the current plan to eradicate the invasive mice on Marion Island has been designed with a focus on minimizing harm to the ecosystem. The proposed solution is a large-scale aerial baiting operation, scheduled for the winter of 2027. This operation will involve the use of helicopters to distribute approximately 660 tons of rodenticide-laced bait pellets across the entire island. The bait will be deployed during the winter months, when the mice are more likely to consume it due to the scarcity of natural food sources. The bait being used in this operation has been specifically formulated to target mice while minimizing the risk to non-target species. The rodenticide, typically a second-generation anticoagulant like brodificum, is lethal to mice when consumed in sufficient quantities. However, the pellets are designed to be less appealing to birds and other wildlife on the island. The bait's color, size, and the presence of certain deterrents aim to reduce the likelihood of accidental ingestion by non-target species. Additionally, the operation is timed to coincide with periods when seabirds are less active, further reducing the risk of unintended casualties. To mitigate the risk even further, extensive pre- and post-operation monitoring will be conducted. This includes studies on the behavior of the island's wildlife, the distribution of the bait, and the impact of the eradication effort on the ecosystem. If any negative effects on non-target species are detected, conservationists will be prepared to intervene with mitigation measures, such as supplementary feeding programs or temporary relocations of vulnerable species. The ecological crisis on Marion Island is not new, and attempts to control invasive species have been ongoing for decades. One of the most significant efforts in the past involved the introduction of domestic cats in 1949 to control the mouse population, which had been unintentionally introduced by sealers in the 19th century. Initially, the cats helped reduce the mouse numbers, but they quickly became an ecological disaster in their own right. The cats began preying on the island's seabird populations, which were particularly vulnerable due to their ground nesting habits and lack of natural predators. By the 1970s, the cat population on Marion Island had exploded, reaching over 3,000 individuals. These cats were responsible for the deaths of hundreds of thousands of seabirds each year, leading to a dramatic decline in bird populations and driving some species, like the common diving petrel, to the brink of local extinction. The cat problem became so severe that it necessitated a new eradication effort, this time aimed at removing the cats themselves. The process took decades, involving hunting, trapping, and eventually the use of feline-specific diseases to reduce their numbers. The cat eradication was finally declared successful in 1991, but the damage to the seabird populations had already been done. This episode highlighted the dangers of introducing one invasive species to control another and underscored the need for more carefully planned and executed conservation efforts. The financial aspect of this ambitious conservation project is significant. The Mouse Free Marion Project has allocated approximately 350 million rand to fund the eradication operation. This budget covers the cost of the bait, helicopter flights, monitoring, and all logistical aspects of the operation, including the necessary contingency plans. The funding has been sourced through a combination of government support, international conservation organizations, and private donations. 
The scale of this investment underscores the importance placed on preserving Marion Island's unique ecosystem and the global recognition of the island's ecological significance.